Hey everybody, Homicide Center here, and in today's video, we're taking a look at a Pokemon that's greatly eligible for the first time ever, Hisuian Avalug. These battles were submitted to the channel by a member of the community, Rainfall, so many thanks for the battle submission. Previously, you could only get Hisuian Avalug through raids, which is much too high of CP. However, during the Sinnoh Tour event, it is actually available through field research tasks, which are guaranteed to be great league eligible. So without further ado, let's up on the matches, and for the first time ever, check out what Hisuian Avalug can do in the Open Great League. Hopping to the first match, leading Giratina Origin into Shadow Gligar. Considering there's a Registeel in the back, definitely not bad to catch the Gligar on the lead, as hopefully that is going to free up the Registeel to do well in the back. Giratina staying in this matchup, baiting with the Ominous Wind, and grabbing a shield from the opponent. The opponent built up past the dig, we see the no shield from the Giratina, and it is going to be the Aerial Ace bait. Giratina will be met with a second Aerial Ace, and we are now going to see a shield. Giratina will be able to make it to a Shadow Ball and pick up the knockout. Opponent is going to send in Whiskash. Giratina going for the Ominous Wind bait. The Whiskash is going to no shield Giratina, farming up quite a lot of energy here, and now full sending the Shadow Ball. Opponent has already shielded once. Are they willing to shield twice? They are not. Whizcash gets the farm down. In comes the Registeel, and Registeel will be able to absorb the Mud Bomb. The opponent went for a blind Scald. We see an aggressive switch into Hisuian Avalog to get the farm down. Hisuian Avalog now up energy. What does the opponent do? They send in Gligar. They've got to be so weak to Hisuian Avalog in the back if they're sending in Gligar. Gligar goes for the dig. In the back, it's a Trevenant, and Trevenant, whether they shield or not, is about to get debuffed. And with that debuff, Hisuian Avalog should be able to withstand whatever they throw here. The Trevenant is going to fire off the Shadow Ball, Hisuian Avalog able to absorb that damage, and fire off the Icy Wind. The Icy Wind is going to pick up the knockout, in comes the Gligar, that gets farmed down as well, and that's game over. Hopping into the next match, and what an unbelievable lead, Giratina Origin into Lantern. Opponent save switches into Altaria. Both of these back two Pokemon absolutely destroy Altaria, choosing to send in the Registeel instead. Registeel going for the Zab Cannon, but losing charge attack priority as Altaria fires off the Moonblast. This Zab Cannon will hit for some heavy neutral damage. Opponent is going to let that through, and we do see that 66% chance attack drop. Farming up and now going for the Focus Blast. Focus Blast is resisted, but the Altaria has run out of enough HP that this is actually going to set up a pretty nice farm down for the Ready Steel. And it doesn't matter if the opponent is going to get energy here on the Lantern, as the energy from the Lantern, of course, is completely walled by the Giratina. So they're just going to fire off their charge attack right away. They go for the Surf, and the Surf will pick up the knockout. But Giratina is just a complete wall. The opponent staying in here, so they very well could be weak to Giratina in the back. The Ominous Wind Bait gets the shield. A nice read, understanding that if the opponent is staying in here, they've got to be weak, so they're probably going to shield. Letting the Surf go, Giratina now going to full send the Shadow Bowl. Putting pressure on the opponent. They've already shielded once. They're double shielding. They really do not want to see this Giratina in the back. Although the Avalug does not want to see the Lantern, of course, so we are going to see the shield from the Giratina. Giratina continuing to farm. We are now going to see a no shield, letting the Giratina get very low. As the Surf is going to connect in the back, it's Superior, and Superior is about to have a very unfortunate day. The Frenzy Plant gets shielded up by the Avalug. Avalug looking to overfarm quite significantly and now go for the Icy Wind. Superior does have some pretty nice bulk to it. Icy Wind plus the Powder Snow will pick up the knockout. In comes the Lantern and Lantern is going to be met with the Rock Slide. This is neutral damage. The Rock Slide connects, getting the Lantern into a range where Avalug is able to farm down and take the win. We see a familiar lead in the next match. Giratina Origin into Shadow Gligar. Again, not the worst lead whatsoever. Ideally, you would love to have this aligned on the Avalog, but keeping it away from the Ready Steel is quite nice. Opponent save switches into Azumarill, and they're about to be very sad they made that decision as in comes Registeel. This feels like a pretty obvious Ready Steel bait out for the opponent. My guess is they're going to have something that is weak to Reggie in the back. Azu is going to be firing off the Hydro Pump, and Hydro Pump does make sense, especially if this is a bait out, trying to lure out the Registeel, destroy it with the Gligar, and then have whatever they have in the back, 
end up sweeping. The Focus Blast will be shielded. Oh my, they're actually making a play for Switch Advantage. But Switch Advantage, I honestly do like the No Shield here. Just saying, you know what? Switch Advantage does not matter. I have Giratina. It has so much energy. And the Gligar doesn't really have anywhere to run now that the Ready Steel has been eliminated. Opponent in the back. They have Umbreon. In comes Avalug. They switch into the Gligar. And Gligar is about to get fully farmed down. And we are about to see a truly disgusting amount of debuffs onto this Umbreon. Back in comes the Umbreon. This is the final Pokemon for the opponent. They have no way of resetting these debuffs. Icy Wind number one does get shielded. Hisuian Avalug says there's more where that came from. Going for Icy Wind number two. These Icy Winds, of course, not going to be outputting a lot of damage. Rock Slide will hit harder neutrally, but the Icy Winds can continually debuff and debuff and debuff until this Umbreon just basically can't do much of any damage. Continuing to farm up is the Avalug. Let's see, this is a minus three foul play now. The foul play, oh my goodness, that is just laughable damage. This poor, poor Umbreon getting debuffed now for a fourth time, continuing to farm up, and we see the combo play into the Giratina. Giratina Origin is an Umbreon counter confirmed, and that's a good game. Picking up a fairly decent lead in the next match, Giratina Origin into Skarmory. Giratina does win the twos here, and it's very, very nice to see this not aligned onto the Avalug. We're actually going to see a switch out and a catch onto the Registeel. Opponent now going to send in Trevenant. So the opponent running a line that is extremely, extremely weak to fire. Trevenant is going to fire off the Shadow Ball. That connects. Ready Steel returning fire with this Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon, of course, is going to be single resisted. But in the Great League, Trevenant is going to be taking quite a lot of damage. Trevenant is going to commit the shield. Trevenant looking for the farm down. They will not get it. So they're forced to go for the Seed Bomb to pick up the knockout. So this Trevenant is still extremely healthy, but the Giratina has so much energy. Giratina farming up, going for the Ominous Wind into the Trevenant. Trevenant, not the tankiest. The Ominous Wind plus the Shadow Claw is going to pick up the knockout. And in the back is Dugong. Dugong will take a lot of neutral damage from the Shadow Ball. The Shadow Ball is going to connect. In comes Hisui and Avalug. Avalug farming up, going for the Rock Slide and winning charge attack priority over the Dugong. This is super effective damage. It picks up the knockout, but oh my goodness, look at the Steel Wings. Look at the Steel Wings, the poor Avalug. Avalug can be an interesting core breaker, but considering that one of the most popular cores right now is Whizcash and Skarmory, both of those Pokemon just eat this thing alive. The Skarmory realizes they're not gonna get the farm down and that means they have lost the game. The opponent just no longer has an ability to win as Giratina is going to make this Shadow Ball and Shadow Ball will pick up the knockout. So despite Avalug getting torn to shreds by Steel Wings, the game still ends in a win. We've got a battle of Giratina in the next match. This could come down to Bates and who wins charge attack priority. The opponent, oh no, they have Vigoroth and this Vigoroth just absolutely destroys this entire team. Vigoroth going for the body slam. Ready Steel farming up, going for the zap cannon, needing a debuff here. The opponent is going to respect it with a shield and there's no debuff. Every team has a core breaker and this team's core breaker has been found. Oh my goodness. And the Ready Steel doesn't make the focus blast. And that's just game over. I don't really see a way to win this. Honestly, I don't even think the opponent is going to need to switch out of the Vigoroth to win this game. They're probably just going to be able to win it with the Vigoroth only. Vigoroth is going to go for the Rock Slide. That does get shielded. And man, Vigoroth firing off another charge attack. It's another Rock Slide. Giratina going to fire off the Shadow Ball, but this is double resisted damage. The Shadow Ball is going to be no shielded. They get the farm down. In comes the Avalug. And Avalug at this point, yeah, just realizes that there's no winning this game. The Rock Slide plus the counters picks up the win for the opponent as Vigoroth 1v3s. Hopping to the next match, getting Giratina Origin into Bastiodon. This matchup is a bit awkward for the Giratina as it just gets significantly unbolted. Trying for the catch, but unfortunately clicking the button slightly too late there. The Stone Edge is going to connect. Giratina banks a ton of energy. The save switch into the Ready Steel. The opponent does not switch out, which is a massive surprise. If they have no response to Ready Steel, then the opponent is just running an incredibly poorly put together team. 
because if you're leading Bastiodon and you have no response to Ready Steel, then, I mean, it, it's just straight up a bad team. There's just no... There is no diplomatic way to say that. They're staying in here. The Focus Blast gets double shielded. This has to be that Bastiodon, Victory Bell, Wigglytuff team. I'm calling it now. It has to be. It absolutely has to be. They should have switched here if it was because they could have farmed down with Razor Leafs, but they stay in, fully sacrificing the Bastiodon, and now we're about to see the Wigglytuff or the Victory Bell, and right on cue, there is the Wigglytuff met with the Avalog, but Avalog can debuff it and should be in a pretty nice spot. Avalog actually decides to go for Rock Slide. I actually do disagree with the play here. The Rock Slide does more damage, but you can't farm it down. So I would have preferred to see the Icy Wind as you need two charge attacks to KO anyway. The opponent is going to get debuffs through and now, ooh, this is a bit awkward. I think that the Avalog is too low. It's gonna get farmed down by the Victory Bell. There's the Victory Bell, but guess what, Victory Bell? There's a Shadow Ball from a Giratina Origin and guess who is not surviving? Oh, they actually did survive by one HP, but they still end up taking the loss. Moving to the next match, leading Giratina Origin into Shadow Skarmory. I know the matchup versus the regular Skarmory. I imagine the Shadow Skarmory can probably flip switch in the twos. We do see the switch out and the catch onto the Registeel as the Skarmory went for the Sky Attack. Opponent now sends in Shadow Whiskash, and this match is looking extremely tough from the outset. As this Skarmory Whiskash core is very strong across the board, it is a very good, what I would call an RPS core. The core is extremely strong in its favorable alignment, but if you get like a Whiskash on a Grass type, it's just completely helpless, or Skarmory onto something like a Bastiodon, or a Registeel, it's just completely helpless as well. But the bad news is, is this very popular core, they both destroy Avalug. Ominous Wind is going to pick up the KO. Back in comes the Skarmory, so maybe there's hope. We're going to need to see a lot of Ominous Winds here. Firing off the Ominous Wind, Skarmory commits the shield. Oh man, but these Shadow Steel Wings, they're doing so much damage. The Giratina is going to run out of HP. Going for another Ominous Wind. You just have to hope the opponent decides to no shield, but they're double shielding. This is really not good. In comes the Avalog. Look at the Steel Wings, and in the back, it's Polyrath and it all comes crumbling down. Moving into the next match, getting Giratina Origin into Azumarill. This matchup is surprisingly decent for the Giratina, as long as shields are in play. Trying for a catch, the catch is unsuccessful, but the opponent has no response to a Registeel. They bring in Lickitung into Registeel, so the opponent running another pretty poorly put together team here, as they just don't have a response to Registeel. Being triple weak to Registeel is something that I'll do in the Ultra League from time to time, as more of a calculated meta read, because Ultra League Registeel, not nearly as common as the Great League Registeel, but in the Great League, Registeel is kind of feasting right now, to be honest. Now going to go for the Zap Cannon in case the opponent wants to shield. They are just going to let that go. They're fully sacrificing that Lickitung. But now they are in a position where they have to have Hydro Pump to pick up the knockout. They go for the Hydro Pump. It is going to be able to KO. But now they wasted their energy. And the Giratina is in a plus energy position. So it's in a really good spot. In the back, though. Oh, that's a Shadow Alolan Sand Slash. And I think this is going to be a loss. In comes the Avalug. Avalug going to take massive damage from the drill run. Thinking about calling the bait. Calls the bait. That's the drill run. And that's the game. There is just not a way to win this game at this point. As the opponent can just go straight for ice punches. Avalug will be able to hit for neutral with the rock slides. But I just really don't see a win con from here on out. Because the opponent will be able to get the farm down after shielding one. And the Sand Slash is just too healthy. And you can just switch in the Azumarill to force the Giratina to throw the energy. So we're going to see a farm up of energy. In comes the Azumarill. Firing off the energy here. And unfortunately, the Sand Slash, I'm pretty sure if they didn't leave with a move, they were one off. And there it is, right on cue. In comes the Sand Slash. Sand Slash will go for the Ice Punch. Ice Punch will pick up the knockout. And that's game over. Hopping to the final match, and there's a tough lead. Giratina Origin into Shadow Dragonair. Immediate save switch into the Ready Steel. Opponent is going to stay in to start off with, taking advantage of the superior pacing of the Dragonair, and fire off an Aqua Tail, and then retreat without taking any damage. In comes Lantern. Lantern immediately met with the Zap Cannon. If this debuffs, this could get uncomfortable for the opponent, and it does get the debuff. Their damage output is going to be quite reduced now due to that debuff. They fire off the Surf. Ready Steel tanks it like it's nothing, 
Ready Steel will be able to make it to another charge attack, and this Focus Blast will come very close to knocking out. Opponent has a choice. They elect to shield. They're going to try and go for the farm down, but they decide against it. They could have gotten that farm down even despite the debuff. It would have been close, but they could have committed. Whereas now, not only do they have a lot of stored energy, but they're debuffed and everything they throw here is resisted. So they get very little value out of this matchup now as they're just going to get farmed. Giratina is going to leave with a truly insurmountable amount of energy. And if they send in the Dragon Air, they're going to have to immediately shield or basically get one shot. They send in the Dragon Air. And is it worth it? Are they going to give up the final shield here? The Shadow Ball connects. The Snipe by the Avalog in the back. It's Skarmory and Avalog is about to get farmed. Oh no. Avalog going for the Icy Wind. Icy Wind is going to connect. That's just going to give Skarmory more farm. But with the debuff, let's take a look at Giratina's health. This is just a win. At this point, the opponent is debuffed. They don't have an ability to steal wing down, which is the only way they're winning this game. They cannot get to three sky attacks, so their only hope is to farm down, and that's just not going to happen due to the debuff. So Avalog able to set up the Giratina Origin to close in the endgame. A Shadow Ball will easily be overkill onto the Skarmory and take the win. All in all, I'm very happy that Hisui and Avalog at long last is greatly eligible. And also, I'm very happy that if you get one through research, it is guaranteed to be greatly eligible. Obviously, you can do what this battler did and trade it to try and get better IVs. But you don't have to worry about like with Giratina Origin where you had to try and trade down and basically just hope for good RNG. It will be guaranteed greatly eligible. When it comes to its play in the Open Great League, I think it's a really, really solid Pokemon for whom the meta is extremely hostile to right now. With those Whizcast Skarmory cores everywhere and adding in the ever-present Annihilate, I do think the current Open Great League meta is not favorable to it, but I do think it's a really solid Pokemon. It's just waiting for a future limited meta potentially to become a top meta threat there or a meta shift. But overall, the pacing on it is really good. Its coverage is really nice. We know how cracked if a move Icy Wind is. And Powder Snow, we've seen Pokemon that have some pretty decent stats with Powder Snow do quite well, namely Frostlass. And Rock Slide is really nice coverage to help it shut down the fires as well. So I think it's an interesting core breaker. The current open Great League meta, it's a, it's a definitely in a rough spot overall for using Hisui and Avalog, but definitely get one if you can, as I think this will be useful down the road. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. It is very early in the morning, so I'm going to go to bed now. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.